This is the story of a film writer named Zheng, who wants to make films on his own written stories, but he never got so much money and was fed up with the life of poverty. He is now called by a film producer who gave him the task of writing a story for his new film. He comes here and sees that this producer is a very ill-mannered person. He was hitting a writer who was already present here because he did not complete the story on time, and even Zheng didn't complete the story. Before the producer could do anything bad to him, he apologizes to the producer and asks him for another month's time to complete his story. But the producer gives him four days and kicks him out. As he comes home, he starts working. Nothing good was coming to his mind. After filling one page, two pages, and after tearing 100 pages, he gets bored and he opens a parcel sent by his grandfather nearby. There was also a letter in this parcel, which he fell asleep while reading. In a dream, his grandfather came to him and started telling him a story. He was telling him that there is millions of gold buried under our old house, but after breaking that house, a jail has been built there. The gold was buried right next to the well. Zheng woke up when he heard this story. As he came to his senses, when he saw his grandfather's parcel, there was a map of that house in it, which was really similar to the map of the jail. Means whatever he saw in the dream, whatever his grandfather told was not a lie, means Zheng had won a big lottery. Now he would have become rich in days, but the problem was that to get the gold, he had to go to jail. He had never done anything bad. Now what does he do to go to jail? He steals his neighbor's laptop and drops it down. In anger, his neighbors made him arrest, and finally, he goes to jail. In jail, everyone was celebrating someone's birthday, and this was Grab. Grab comes to him and tells him to join the party. He tells him that once upon a time, he had a good friend named Jung. Grab, without listening to him, makes him his friend, and says, From now on, you are my friend. So now all the responsibility of your protection is mine. No one will be able to harm you here. After it, we see that Jung is visiting this jail. He is looking from there and trying to find the place where the gold can be buried. He finds another prisoner here who tells him that there are two groups in this jail. One group was of Grab and the other group was of Bao. Bao, who was a very dangerous prisoner, everyone was scared of him. On the other hand, there was Grab, who was not only brave, but also good. He did not let any of his group members be harmed in any way. He always protected them. Hearing this story from this prisoner, Jung says, no, no, I don't want to join any group. They were talking when suddenly some prisoners caught him and brought him in front of Bao. These were actually the people of Bao's group who torture him, beat him, and sometimes they make him drown and they are doing all this work so that afraid Jung will join Bao's group. Along with Jung, all the prisoners who came here decided to join their group because they were tired of torture. Now the rule of Bao's group was that whoever entered their group had to drink Bao's spitted tea. All the prisoners are threatened to do this work, and when it's time to drink Bao's dirty spitted tea, suddenly someone drops a cup from his hand. It was no one else but Grab. He tells Bao that Jung is from my group because he lives in my room so you can't force him. Grab and Grab's people take Jung away from here, and because Jung was not in his group, Bao gets angry. In return, he mixes cockroaches in his food the next day and forces him to eat that food. Grab had seen all the drama, and that's why the fight starts in these two groups. Anyway, this fight ended. The next day we saw that Jung got a job of cleaning the jail. He took advantage of the opportunity, and while working, he went in search of that old well which had gold buried around it. His duty was also about to end. While cleaning, he reached the library where he was trying to find out about the well. Suddenly Bao and Bao's people come from behind and had started hitting him. After hitting him, they make his condition worse. In the next scene, it is shown that Grab, Jung's friend, is very worried about Jung because even after his duty was over, he didn't come back to his cell. He was sure that Bao must be behind all this. He goes to Bao and asks him about Jung in response. Bao says, oh, your friend is missing. I can tell you where he is, but you will have to agree to one condition of mine. You will have to drink the tea I spit, Grab, who was very worried about Jung has to agree to Bao's request. After that, Bao's people tell him that Jung is in the trash can. Without wasting time, Grab and his friends go to the trash can. They find Zong locked inside. His mouth was closed with a plastic wrap because of which he would have died in no time. But thank God, Grab came here. Grab decides to take revenge on Bao for his insult and the injustice he did to his friend. And for this, Jung is also ready. Not because Bao had beaten him and he made an enemy with Bao. In fact, all his focus is on his mission, 
that is, to get the gold. He was thinking that if these two groups fight, he will get enough time to find the gold buried in jail. In the next scene, the two groups fight. Everyone was fighting each other. The guards start trying to save them, and as the opportunity comes, Jung steals the keys of store from security guard and moves towards the store. But before he could open the store, Bao and his men come behind him and beat him up. Due to the fight, Grab Jung and Bao were locked in separate jails where Jung could not fulfill his goal. In anger, Jung says to Grab, Stop it. I don't need your help. You don't fight for me. I can protect myself. Since you have come into my life, my life has become difficult. All this saddened Grab. He used to consider Jung his friend. He now tells Jung his story that why does he always care so much for Jung? His old friend named Jung, he gave his life to save Grab from the gangsters. Crab saw his old friend in Jung, he says after his death, I swore from that day that just like my friend saved my life, I will always take care of my companions, that's why I help you. Hearing this, Jung becomes emotional, and now he comes to him and explains the real reason for coming to his jail. Jung tells him that he has come from his basement to steal his family's gold. Grab had also decided that he would help Jung in his mission, and in return, he don't want anything of gold from Jung. They now made a proper plan to steal the gold. First of all, they had to go to the storeroom where they sprinkle a strange chemical on the guard's neck, which causes an allergy on his neck, and he is taken to the medical room in an emergency. And as he gets a chance, Grab steals his uniform. Jung goes to the storeroom wearing his uniform where he finds a new map of the jail, according to which the old well where the gold was buried was now in the laundry room. They hurriedly reach the laundry room, and according to the map, they saw a wall where the well should have been. They were sure that they would find the well behind this wall if they broke it. They break this wall behind which they see a very dangerous and scary area. They take a big light and enter it, but here they do not find any well or gold. Failed, sad, now they were about to come back. That's when Grab suddenly sees a stick here, and he picks up this stick for the time pass. As he picks up this stick, a closet opens there. In this closet, there were many gold bars, the price of which could be more than $500 million. Seeing this, Jung's eyes remained open. Jung first gave some gold bars to Grab, but Grab says, I have no right on this gold. This is your gold and you take it. They people now hide all the gold in a cloth and come out with the clothes kept in the laundry room. They knew that the laundry clothes would go out of the jail on the 22nd, and this was the day when Jung also had to be released from jail. Their plan was about to succeed, and Jung was very happy about it. He tells Crab that now he can pay off all his debts and finally fulfill his dream, means he can now make films as a producer. Seeing Crab's clear heart, Jung now promised Crab that when he also comes out of jail, they will make a restaurant together, and Crab will be its owner. Everything was going according to the plan, but Bao does not let them breathe. He just fights with them for no reason. Doing this, Jung's hidden gold comes in front of him. Because of this fight, the guards had also come here. Before they see the gold, it was found that the three of them had hidden the gold. Bao lies to the police that Jung slipped, and we were not fighting. I just came here to help them. Jung was also agreeing with him. Seeing Jung joining his enemy, Crab becomes surprised. He thought that I am working hard for Jung, but there isn't any value for me in his heart. The gold is the most important thing for him, and thinking this, he broke his friendship with Jung. He was not going to support Zong anymore. That's why he plans to run away with Bao, in which Grab was not supporting him anymore, but in the next scene, when Grab finds out that his daughter is so sick that she will have to undergo surgery. That's why he wants Jung's support. He didn't want Zong's gold. He just wanted to meet Jung in his plan and run away from the jail to his daughter. Then two weeks later, in a party in jail, he tricked everyone and made a plan to get out of the jail from an old tunnel. The plan was good, but there was a new problem. Jung, who was going to be released on 22nd, how would he go out with his gold? To get out of the jail, he had to follow the plan with Bao. Now, to follow his plan, Jung and Bao fight together. Jung gets punished for a few more days, and they start working on their plan. The day of the party was also near. They blew bubbles with chlorine gas in which they could set fire and divert everyone. When the inspector was giving his speech, Jung and Bao set fire to all the bubbles like a bomb. Then they went to the tunnel from where the sea was on the other side. As they walked in the tunnel, they came across the door on which the sea was on the other side. 
The guards also found out that three prisoners were missing, and all this happened here must have been done by these prisoners. Here they broke the big door on which the sea was on the other side, with a bomb made by them. Outside, Bao's men were ready with the boat. Now they just had to run away from here. At this time, Bao betrays them. He was going to take out his knife and kill them both here, because he was greedy, and he wanted to get all the gold himself. Before Bao killed Grab, Zheng had come in front, and that's why he gets injured. It is shown that after this, a fight begins between the three of them. Bao, who was a dangerous criminal, had made them both miserable. Here Crab says you can take all the gold but leave us alive. Why would he listen to Grab? Grab had always been his enemy in jail. He wanted to throw Grab into the sea, and as he throws Grab, Grab grabs a rope whose other end was in Jung's hand. At this time, Grab's life was in Jung's hands. Here Jung remembers all those moments when Grab helped him and supported him like a true friend, and now he was not going to leave Grab. Bao was also standing right in front of Grab, Grabbing the rope with one hand, Grab traps him and quickly throws him into the water. On the other hand, Jung puts all his strength and saves his friend Grab from falling into the sea. Bao was already dead, and as they returned to jail, the security guards had also come looking for them. Seeing this, they both hand themselves over to them. Due to the attempt to escape from jail, their punishment increases a little, but at the end of the story, a good thing is told that the reason for which Grab was going to escape from jail was over means his daughter's treatment was done well. On the other hand, the government, finding out about the gold they stole, the government discovered the heirs of the gold and announced that the gold belonged to Jung's grandfather, and because he is no longer in this world, the real owner of the gold is only Jung. Now his dream to become rich is fulfilled, he is living as he wanted to, he has become a producer and films his own stories in his way. He has also made a restaurant with his best friend Grab. The story concludes while telling this.